Hello everyone, uh, this video is to show a little tool that I have created in order to make your flat images uh, that you draw for Lychee um, into vertical missions and which you will be able to rotate and change as you require. Uh, the tool also allows to easily use missions of more than 99 points. Here you can see me going in Google Earth uh, through an image um, Drawing, drawing around an image in Google Earth um, of an airplane. I don't know, it seems a bit distorted, but I didn't um, pay too much attention to it. I just want to show you how you can deal with multiple points and still create a vertical mission easily. So we need to save our drawing as a KML file and then open it in Litchi. You will see that because of the 99 point limit, the remaining points they just will not be copied over, but that's uh, that's okay. We can easily solve that. We can see that 99th point is third point on the engine, so we just need to create a second part by removing the first part of the image in Google Earth. So here I'm just checking that it is indeed the third point on the engine. And we can save it as a part 2 camel of our drawing. Note that I have already exported as a CSV file part 1 and now I'm doing the same with part 2. And now we are ready to open the conversion tool and both of the raw flat image CSV files. And now we just need to copy over the CSV raw data of the flat image into the conversion tool on a sheet called uh, flat mission and just make sure you do it in the correct order. You already have part 1, part 2 and part 3 uh, for CSV. Those are the sheets in which will be your final outputs. And the green highlighted line of the part 1 for CSV file means that this point is the same as first point of the part 2. Same works for part 2 versus part 3. Now we can go to the second sheet of the workbook and edit the information in the yellow cells. You have to select the altitude of your first point. Normally it should be your lowest point when you draw the mission. Uh, the rest we will not use just yet, but also note you will not be able to edit the cells that you don't need. Now we should be ready to open just two empty CSV books into which we will copy over our output coordinates. So we just copy the data from part 1 and part 2 for CSV sheet and save the new unique CSV files with the same data. Now we are ready to import those files into Litchi and see the result. We can now see that all our points are in a straight line, which means they are in a vertical plane. I'll just send it to Google Earth but not open yet. Uh, do the same with part 2. And in Google Earth, we're able to see the complete airplane drawn. The strange thing is, it does seem like start point and end point, they do not align exactly, which uh, is really strange because we are able to check the um, CSV files we have used and we'll be able to see that those are exactly the same points um, and should work in practice. I haven't tried it out yet, so we'll... Um, let you know if there is actually an issue or just how Google Earth sees it. So I'm just comparing the first point of the second part and the last point of the first part and I'm able to see that they are just the same points, same uh, latitude, longitude and same altitude. And just to be sure we open those points in Litchi and again we see that those are two identical points. Now we can try to rotate and shift up and down our uh, previously drawn airplane. We then have to repeat the action of copying data from part 1 for CSV and part 2 for CSV onto the empty CSV files. I'm just using the old ones and overriding data in them and making sure we save them. And then just repeat the whole action with Litchi and uh, 
exporting the file into Google Earth. We can see that our line now has shifted and it has rotated around point 0.1. And now we can see both airplanes in Google Earth. I'll just quickly remove the very first one and uh, we can see the second one. The start and end point do not seem to match up exactly again, but um, I have checked the files, they should be the same points. And again, if, if something like that happens, you will be always able to override it in your uh, final CSV files that you actually upload. Um, you sometimes might want to do this if you have drawn, for example, letters and you want to make sure that lines are perfectly parallel and use the same uh, altitudes uh, or same uh, longitudes, altitudes for, for some parts of the letters or other drawings. I just check once again in my data that the points are indeed the same and uh, they are so in practice hopefully it should work and look as you expected. But if you spot any mistake, a bug uh, or an error, please do let me know. We can then clean up our um, initial flat mission sheet and reuse it again. Actually, while reviewing the edit, I have realized that the, the image I have just shown you was uh, also completely messed up in a way, and uh, um, spent a while looking what might have gone wrong, and just realized that I had online elevation switched on in Litchi. That's why the picture got broken, and that's why the points didn't add up. So um, uh, here's an example of what I received after in Litchi settings I have disabled use online elevation. Um, ironically, I also wasn't able to repeat that example because uh, Litchi started to complain that uh, I have to have online elevation enabled to be able to, con to import to Google Earth and uh, however I continue to play around with it it would again show a slightly broken image, but it does seem that the online elevation is the issue and um, it should be fine when you actually fly it as just that Google Earth uh, accounts for the elevation when it looks at your point. If you by any chance know how to solve it, please let me know in the comment. I would also note that shifting the image north, south, or east or west is not exactly precise because the formulas are an approximation so there might be some rounding error but it overall should look. And one more thing to note is if you're using less than 99 points you can just draw your image um, north to south import um, into the uh, Excel file and then put it back to Litchi and rotate as you need in Litchi. Thank you for watching and good luck with your missions.